Next we're going to take a second to talk about the density map. Now the density map may seem like it's just like the cut map, but instead of cutting the hairs down and uh, shortening them, you actually control the concentration of hairs in that given area. So very similar to the cut map, it's going to use a value of 0 to 1 to evaluate where there is going to be a higher concentration of hair. 0 meaning no hair in that area, and 1 meaning the normal amount of hair that you, that you would have on this head. So what we could do is create a kind of a little uh, mohawk area here where we've just got one little spike of hair and everything else can be cut down but based off that value we can then determine if we want half of that hair count or a hundred percent of that hair count to be applied in the region where it would have uh, so if we have ten thousand hairs all over maybe this little area has two thousand hairs if our density map was set to half it would only get one thousand hairs and that's kinda how that works so let's take a look at this let's first give this a brand new uh, material Okay, and I'm just going to move it up here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to assign a new material, Lambert. Okay, and then I'm going to right click, go to Paint, 3D Paint. Okay, and this is going to let me access my new paint tool here, or my, my paint tool that I haven't used yet. I'm going to go down to my stroke here and turn on reflection. And then you can see here I can paint my reflection. Okay, and let's see. No, we don't want screen projection. Okay, that should be good. All right, let's go up here and let's pick first a color. We want to flood the whole thing uh, with white. So we'll just hit flood paint. And let's see, I, I think it's not selected, so that's why it's not liking it. Oh, we haven't assigned, I'm sorry, we haven't assigned a texture yet. So let's go down here to Assign, Edit Textures, um, 24, 1024 is what I need. Here we go, Assign and Edit, and now we can flood. So we'll flood paint, there we go. And we're going to pick a black color to go in here and paint out. It's kind of an area, and I'm going to go with a smaller brush here with a little higher fall off. And I'm going to paint out all this except kind of a little ponytail in the back here. Okay, so this is kind of what we're going for. And we're going to put a high concentration of hair right up there. Okay, so with that done, let's get out of this tool here. And let's open up the attributes. Uh, oops, well, I guess we'll go ahead and render this. We'll go ahead and open up the attributes of that um, hair node and plug in the density map that we just created, which we'll find in the hypershade. Uh, let's give this a second. There we go. Okay, so you can see what we've got painted. Here's a before. I'll just mark this. Okay, and let's open up our hypershade. Here is our map. Okay, so we'll just plug this into the density map. There we go. And let's re-render this just just to see what we get. Okay, so you can see I didn't get 100% uh, black out here, but right here you see we have a high concentration. So let's pick a 50% gray and continue editing this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to paint, 3D paint, and on my color um, I'm just going to set this value to 0.5. Okay, so that's going to be 50%. So I'll just go ahead and I'll paint in a stripe here. Okay. And um, it should automatically save. I can hit Save Textures just, just in case. So let's render this again. Okay, so unlike the cut map where it it just removed them or, or adjusted that, you know, there's no hair here uh, based off that amount, and, and it's going to be controlled by the guide hairs. This now is saying, okay, I use 50%, so that means draw half the car, half the render hairs that would have been in that area before there would have been 100%. So you get an idea here that we could really utilize the system to get a lot of control over our hair. Now, I'm not 100% a fan of this, so I'm actually going to disconnect this and uh, just say break connection and uh, I'm going to apply my uh, 
material here that I had for looks like I may have lost the material yep looks like I lost my material that I had for the skin so that's okay let me just go up here and plug this back in there we go and we should have this back back to normal once we hit render uh, it sometimes it doesn't update until you've it's actually figured it out and rendered it out so let's render it there we go we're back to normal so again uh, a neat way to control the concentration of hair you can utilize that density map next we'll talk about the scale and random scale